Mike Krzyzewski and Jerry Colangelo have their work cut out for them. Well, I'll take a stab at it and I'll start the guard position. Immediately who comes to mind for me, Chris Paul, Russell Westbrook, and Steph Curry. And the disappointment obviously will be Kyrie Irving, who I think is well justified to make the Olympic team. At the swing position, and I'm gonna go with James Harden, Klay Thompson, and a surprise, Jimmy Butler. Why? Because I think he has the edge over Paul George because he's just been able to play. Unfortunately for Paul George, he injured himself last year. And I'm sure that the committee will think about that when the selection process moves along. But Jimmy Butler has proven that he is an improved basketball player and he is going to be a tough out. At the forward position, automatically you pencil in LeBron James, Kevin Durant, and Carmelo Anthony. They have been staples in the Olympic Games. The coaches are very familiar with them. And because of that, it's going to cost a lot of talented players an opportunity to play. Blake Griffin has never played, and I don't think he will next year, along with Kawhi Leonard. I think those two guys will get a chance in future years, but the four position is so talented, I just can't see how they're going to make the team. And every team needs some big guys. And I think this year it's important, especially with Spain being as big as they are. And I believe this time DeMarcus Cousins will get his chance. I think he has been patient, I think he has grown, and I feel like he's going to be rewarded, along with Dwight Howard and Anthony Davis. I believe those will be the three big guys in the Olympics, and if that happens, unfortunately, that leaves off Kevin Love, LaMarcus Aldridge, and DeAndre Jordan.